And joining us now online is Hugh Miles in Cairo. He's the editor of the regional news website Arab Digest. He's also written a book on Al Jazeera. Thank you very much for being with us this morning, Hugh. Um, we heard in that report that uh, Foreign Minister Altani says the demands are not about terrorism, but among other things about shutting down freedom of speech. When Al Jazeera launched, it completely changed the Middle East's media landscape. What is it doing differently than its competitors? Uh, well, Al Jazeera is, com is completely different to all other Arab news stations. It's unique. Um, it's always been that way since it started in 1996. Um, you have to remember, before Al Jazeera started, the Arab media was very backwards. It was like Soviet Union media, very totalitarian. And Al Jazeera is much more Western in style, although obviously it's in Arabic. And so it completely opened the doors for uh, Arabs, and it made them politically literate for the first time, introducing them to concepts like democracy and human rights, which they really didn't know about. So uh, it, it uh, informed the Arab public and really led to a revolution in the uh, Arab media as other Arab channels struggled to keep up with it. Today, Al Jazeera still is different from the other channels because Al Jazeera reflects the guttery point of view, um, which uh, believes that essentially uh, in the future, the gutteries believe that uh, the, the natural course of events in the Middle East will see Islamic groups like for example, the Muslim Brotherhood or Hamas, come to power across the whole region. Uh, and this will come about either through revolution or through democratic elections. And uh, this is not an unrealistic point of view, because uh, on the few occasions that Arab countries have been allowed to hold democratic elections, Islamist groups like that have normally won, even though often they're not allowed to take or, or hold power for very long. But is for the other why, countries you, in the region... You, I, have to, I have to jump in there right now. Is, is that why the Saudis, among others uh, in the region, have so much against Al Jazeera and its reporting that they're still stuck in basically this Pravda era? Uh, yes, exactly, yeah. I mean, Saudi Arabia and all these other countries are unelected, autocratic, extremely repressive, uh, very corrupt. They have a lot of secrets. They do not want change. They fear anything that weakens their grip on power. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, their fear is that they're going to end up like Colonel Gaddafi, being dragged out of a sewer pipe and murdered by their own people. And they see Al Jazeera as uh, uh, making this possibility more lightly. And that's why they want to shut it down. Hugh, briefly, if you could, uh, is it likely that the Qataris will shut down Al Jazeera, this very important, as you described it, TV news network? Uh, no, I don't think the gutteries are going to do that. Um, and I think if this crisis escalates, the gutteries are going to hit back. I think they've got a lot of cards to play. Um, and I think the Saudis and the others are going to regret uh, opening this confrontation because they have a lot of skeletons in their closet. And when they start telling other people they are supporting terrorism, this is frankly laughable. And they are. Uh, <laughs> and when Qatar turns the tables on them, um, it's going to be very, very tough for them indeed. Hugh Miles, great talking to you. Thanks so much for being with us this morning.